Well, there it is. There's my new toy. It's a Komatsu PC75UU-2. It's between a 99 and an 05. I'm not really sure because I'm pretty sure it's right from Japan. All the uh, I mean, the stickers on it anywhere, they're all in Japanese, yeah, there it says 75U-2. But anyways, here she be. It's got this uh, interesting side shift boom on it. I guess that's so you can uh, shift it to one side to dig up along the side of a building. So, as you can see, I've got the bucket cylinder off. And the boom cylinder too, they were both leaking pretty bad when I bought it and I knew that, so. When I got it home, I took those off, so they'll be back on there shortly, but uh, it's got this interesting green paint job on it. The guy that originally had it painted it all up for his company, but it uh, this machine used to be pink and purple. Yeah, that part was pink and and the rest of it was like this bluish purple color. Kind of strange to paint a piece of equipment that color, but anyways. So the issue that I'm trying to resolve here is these uh, travel sticks, they don't have any foot pedals on them. So I'm gonna make a set. I found these kicking around from uh, another project I had on the go that kind of got abandoned. So uh, I'm gonna notch that out. Stick that on there. Already had some arts and crafts going here. It's gonna kind of go on there like that. Put a bend in it. I'm gonna cut that out of that. And that should work. So let's get started. So I got this one cut out, and it kind of sits in there where I want it. I cut a little too much, so I'm going to get this next one laid out, and hopefully not cut as much off of that one. Okay, so I think that's gonna work out good. That's still hot. That'll go on there like that. And I'll weld those on there. And then when I have my nice aluminum cut out, not cardboard, I can just uh, bolt them right on there. So get that paint ground off there and get them tacked on there and we get those petals cut out.
Well, that turned out not too bad. I'll uh, hit that with the wire wheel and get a coat of paint on there. some uh, alcohol give the trim cloud a little better chance of sticking Turned out not too shabby. Not bad for a quick trim cloud paint job. And the only overspray I got was right there. My floor mat will cover that up. So I just cut these out quick. I still have a bit of trimming to do on them, so I'll get the cutoff wheel on the grinder and get those dialed in. fits on there just about right nice it'll be sweet get this next one uh, marked out and get it trimmed to fit so got them both on there and that looks pretty good and they shouldn't hit the floor mat when they're all the way back. I want to take this part and bend it up. But, uh, and I don't think it would hit the front window if there was one. Probably get a chunk of plexiglass. But, uh, yeah, this turned out pretty good. I'll see if I can uh, get these tipped up a bit. Looks about right. Sweet. All right, well, I'm gonna call that good. This turned out not too bad. We'll file the edges down a bit, and I'll touch up my spray paint job. But uh, those turned out pretty sweet. I can't wait to use them. Okay, so the day's finally come. I finally got these back after like three weeks. So that's the big one. It goes on there. And then the bucket cylinder's over there. So we'll uh, try and get these on here.
All right, so when I started this up yesterday and pecked the boom up, obviously it had to fill those cylinders up full of fluid. So now I gotta fill the tank up, but uh, I scraped all the dirt off the lid of this and it said new filter in 2017, so somebody must have cared about it at some point. I do have a new filter for it. So I'll get uh, that filter in there and get that tank filled up and try it out. So it didn't look too bad in there. It wasn't like there was any huge chunks of anything in there. Not really anything on that little screen either. But uh, get that new filter in there and get that filled up with oil. Alright, I got everything back together and I'm going to give these pedals a try.